he can indeed be a bad, bad boy. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 worst things Bart Simpson has done. Oh man, I'm too pretty to go to jail. You don't know how lucky you are. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the most morally reprehensible things Bart Simpson has done in both the show and the movie. You've really done it this time. Yeah, it all kind of came together. Number 10. Making Prank Calls Hey, yeah, just a sec, I'll check. Uh, Amanda Hug and Kiss? Hey, I'm looking for Amanda Hug and Kiss. One of Bart's distinguishing pranks are his calls to Moe's Tavern, even though this hasn't been a regular thing since the fourth season. For the few who may not be aware, the joke goes like this. Bart calls Moe's and asks for a silly fake name like Seymour Butts. Hey, is there a Butts here? Seymour Butts? Hey, everybody, I want to see more Butts! Moe then calls out the fake rude name in the bar before realizing it's a prank and getting very heated about it. When I get my hands on you, I'm gonna put out your eyeballs with a corkscrew! <laughs> yes, the pranks are fundamentally harmless. And really, who hasn't taken part in a good prank call? But poor Moe just wants to run his establishment in peace without some snot-nosed kid making him feel stupid. My crotch! My crotch! Hey, has anybody seen my crotch lately? <laughs> <laughs> Number 9. Exposing himself. I dare you to skateboard to Krusty Burger and back naked. Talk about letting it all hang out. In The Simpsons movie, Homer dares Bart to skateboard completely naked to Krusty Burger and back. Despite initially showing reluctance because girls might see him totes nude, Bart takes off after Homer calls him a chicken. He proceeds to shock the entire town with his antics before we're treated to a full-on, uncensored view of his dingle as well. As funny as the censorship joke is, did we really need to see everything? Mind you, a little nudity doesn't really hurt anyone. Stop in the name of American squeamishness. Number 8. Giving cigarettes to Santa's little helper. I've grown a futuristic tomato by fertilizing it with anabolic steroids. The kind that help our Olympic athletes reach new peaks of excellence? The very same! By the show's fourth season, Bart had graduated from harmless prank calls to giving cigarettes to the family dog. Lisa and Bart are tasked with that school classic, science fair projects. Lisa creates a massive steroid-enhanced tomato in the hopes of ending world hunger. So responsible! Meanwhile, Bart decides to study the effects of cigarette smoking on dogs. I thought I'd investigate the effects of cigarette smoking on dogs. <laughs> right on cue, Santa's little helper enters the kitchen with a cigarette dangling from his lips while hacking up a lung. Nothing like giving a dog lung cancer in the name of science. But then again, we didn't expect much more from Bart. Number 7. Burning Lisa's Centerpiece <gasps> Lisa, my goodness! That's very impressive! It's not a Simpsons holiday without one member of the family ruining everything. And this time, Bart, well, ruins Thanksgiving. To celebrate the festivities, Lisa slaves over an elaborate centerpiece, which she proudly displays once everyone is sitting around the table. Enter Bart bearing the turkey, and he decides that Lisa's centerpiece is taking up valuable real estate on the table. Hey, Bart, stop it! Move it or lose it, toots. Mom! A tussle ensues, and the centerpiece is thrown into the fire. Yes, it was an accident, but Bart was still being petty and rude about it, and showed no remorse for what he'd done, even calling it bitchin' and ordering his food to go once he was sent up to his room. Boo. Bart! You don't even care! You don't even care! Number 6. Upending Australia's Ecology any foreign creature you bring in could upset the environmental balance. If he's not ruining Thanksgiving, he's ruining an entire country's ecology. Bart is forced to travel to Australia to personally apologize for being irresponsible and sticking a boy down under with a huge phone bill. But then he brings a bullfrog on his journey. When he leaves it at Australian Customs, it escapes and happily makes its way into the country. Get out! Oh, shoot! Shoot! Get out of here! Ugh. These bloody things are everywhere. The bullfrog then reproduces at an alarming rate, and the army of bullfrogs proceed to destroy the local crops. Of course, Bart and company just laugh about it, detached from the fact that they just single-handedly ruined an entire country. 
<laughs> Number five, trying to destroy Springfield Elementary. Destroy the school, eh? That's what I'm talking about. Springfield Elementary is no stranger to abuse from Bart. If he's not using a fire hose to flood the school gym, he's trying to destroy the entire building. While hiding from Principal Skinner, Bart and Milhouse discover that the old trains in the subway system still work. They race down the tracks and cause a tremor, which damages the school's foundation. One more shake and the whole school could come down! Wanting attention from his parents, who decided to just ignore his behavior, Bart decides to drive the train directly underneath the school in the hopes of crippling the entire building. And he damn near succeeds, too. Of course, the school is destroyed anyway once the flagpole falls on it. So, mission accomplished, we suppose. Number 4. Destroying Springfield with a Sonic Boom Testing. Leave it to Bart to destroy an entire city with a megaphone. While visiting the police station on a field trip, Bart finds the megaphone collection and proceeds to stack them, with the hopes of creating a mega-amplified sound. And succeed he does. After saying testing into the mega-megaphone, the station wall is obliterated, and a massive shockwave proceeds to shatter every piece of glass in the city. It also leaves the entire population of Springfield deaf and causes a released octopus to attack Professor Frank. This is the prank that finally sent Homer over the edge, and Bart was sent to military school as punishment. Jeez, you know it's bad when even Homer's pissed. You've really done it this time, Bart! You're in for the punishment of a lifetime! Number 3. Decapitating the Jebediah Springfield Statue <laughs> Look, there it is! The head! Yeah! For this prank, we are going all the way back to season one. Wanting to impress his new buddies Jimbo, Dolph, and Kearney, Bart uses a hacksaw to decapitate the statue of Jebediah Springfield. The entire town naturally grows resentful of the perpetrator, and Bart finds that even his new rebellious role models are upset. Yeah, I mean, throwing rocks is one thing, but I would never cut the head off of a guy who iced a bear with his bare hands. Petty vandalism is one thing, but cutting the head off a town statue is so out of line and despicable that even the local bullies detest the act. With this, Bart crossed a dangerous line and went from bratty child to criminal. Well, at least for this episode. Now you're the most hated boy in town. Number 2. Exploiting Skinner's Peanut Allergy My allergy is so sensitive a single molecule would make my throat close like a museum at 4.45. <gasps> Bart is usually a sympathetic character even when he's at his most rambunctious. But this was truly a new low. After the school is notified that Peanuts will no longer be allowed on the premises, an annoyed Bart discovers that it's not a student with the debilitating allergy, but Skinner. Naturally, Bart uses this knowledge to his advantage and to exploit Skinner via a peanut on a stick. <gasps> My allergen! He uses his peanut stick to torture Skinner by hurling soda cans at him and making him eat literal garbage. This is malicious through and through. Eat shrimp and die! No, I'm allergic! Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some dishonorable mentions. Johnny! Johnny! Cool, I broke his brain. Hey, you pugs! What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bart, it's wonderful! Really? Wonderful? I just drowned a grasshopper in paint and let him crawl on the paper till he died. Number one, nearly killing Martin. Hey, Martin, what are you doing? Excavating for arrowheads! Yeah, it doesn't get any worse than killing someone. While Bart and Lisa are riding their bikes, they come across poor Martin, who only wants to excavate arrowheads in peace. While Lisa shows enthusiasm and joins him, Bart decides to pull a prank by burying Sideshow Mel's bone and pretending it's an important artifact. He pulls the bone and smacks Martin, who in turn topples over the cliff. And while it was Lisa who accidentally pushes him off with the stick, this is all on Bart. If it wasn't for Martin's durable, wedgie-proof waistband, Bart would likely have found himself facing charges of manslaughter. And all for a stupid prank. Rumors of my death have been greatly exaggerated. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.